Hi guys, I hope you all are doing great. It's so sad we got to lose our lovely ones watching this football, the past game between Nigeria and South Africa, especially during the penalty shoot. Most of them passed away because of their health condition. You know, okay, the high BP and other related uh, sickness and disease. Please and please, this one that is coming up tomorrow between Nigeria and Ivory Coast, if you're here and you're sure that your parents are going to watch that match tomorrow or your husband or your wife is going to watch that match tomorrow between Nigeria and Ivory Coast, be sure that they're okay, that their health is okay. I want you guys to watch this video. Also, we're going to observe one minute silence for the departed souls. It's not easy for them to have lost their lives watching what they love. It's not easy, okay? I want you guys to watch this video. Even there are some of them that we didn't even know. So it's not just three of them I'm going to mention here in this video that lost their lives. So many other people lost their lives by watching this football. We pray that we're not going to lose any of our loved ones again, okay? And tomorrow, we are going to win. Nigeria, we're going to get that cup, all right? So I want you guys to watch this video. I'm going to come back to you guys. Good evening, everyone. Yesterday, we lost four with Nigeria because of the game yesterday. So please, we we'll make one minute silence. And then after that, I was in with the leaders in prayers to with their family because there's nothing we can do. So we just they need our support right now. And inshallah, on Sunday, we're going to leave that trophy for them, for our own country. King of glory, the most high God, the creator of heaven and earth. Father in heaven, we want to thank you for all you have done. We want to thank you for we know, oh Lord, that you have a purpose for everything. You are the God that knows the end from the beginning. Heavenly Father, we appreciate you, Lord. Father, as those, oh Lord, that we lost, oh Lord, at the cost of our gain yesterday, oh Lord. Heavenly Father, we don't know, O King of Glory, you, O you, 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 God, know what happened. But we pray, O Lord, and we wish that wherever their soul is, may their beautiful soul rest in peace. Amen. This photo is one of the deceased. He is Chief Dr. Cairo Ujubu, the Akinua of Agbo Kingdom. He passed as a result of the shock when South Africa scored against Nigeria. He was said to be watching the live match between the Nigeria and South Africa. In the course of the match, a penalty was awarded against Nigeria. And as soon as the South Africa team scored against Nigeria, Dr. Ojubo was reported to have screamed and then collapsed. Sadly, he passed on. May his soul rest in peace. Amen. The next victim is High Chief Oson Domoye who was said to be the richest Igbo businessman based in Ivory Coast. Obi Kubana was the person that posted him on his status, and he said, Machin Emelo hosted us last week Sunday, and today he's gone. Wow. wow. But what the late Anambra born billionaire did not see coming is watching his darling Super Eagles play on Wednesday in Ivory Coast, where he lives and run his flourishing business going to ultimately cost him his life? Wow. Hi, Chief Osondo was still alive, hell and healthy. He traveled to Boke, the city that hosted the Super Eagles match on Wednesday to watch this darling Super Eagles play. He loves football and is patriotic for his home country. According to eyewitnesses, the High Chief was on top of the moon, shouting on top of his voice when Victor O. Simmons scored that second goal, which was later cancelled by VAR. Maybe the shock of seeing the goal cancelled and penalty awarded to South Africa was too much for him to bear for his fragile heart, which failed immediately, and this resulted in the High Chief collapsing inside the stadium. All the fanatic effort to revive him failed as he was rushed to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. While the whole country was rejoicing, on Wednesday, the people of Amenuke community in Anambra State, where he came from, 
were mourning. So they just lost an illustrious person, the richest man in the community, who was an Iroko who provided shelter, shade, and succor to many in that community. His immediate family is in mourning too. They just lost a friend, a father, and a benefactor. May his gentle soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. The next victim is Kwara State University Deputy Bossa, who collapsed and died of BPY washing Nigerian versus South African penalty shootouts. He complained that he was feeling dizzy, so he said he needed to go back home and rest, not knowing that his BP had gone up. So, on getting home, he collapsed and was rushed to a private hospital in Shongo, and he was referred to the University of Eloran Teaching Hospital. And before he could be attended to, he passed on. He was buried on Thursday morning according to Islamic rites. May his soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. Wow, my people, this is so sad. This is a reminder to the rest of us and to those who might be suffering from underlying illness like high blood pressure to stay away from washing tension soaked super egos matches or any other match at all at the end of the day it's not worth it okay guys also not just these people that i mentioned here passed on many people also slumped to their death while watching this match on wednesday and this includes a serving youth cop a serving in adamawa the other side of watching football which we wouldn't even discuss well enough may their soul rest in perfect peace please and please if you know that you're not that healthy or fit to watch football or any other match please don't even try it's so sad guys Oof. i pray we are not going to lose any of our beloved ones again we're not going to lose any soul again this is a game we're going to play this game and we're going to, everybody's going to come out you know happy and alive please if you know that you're not going to be able to withstand the heat that comes with football especially when it gets to penalty we pray that this one is not going to get to penalty please don't watch if you're here as a parent please be very careful if you're here and your parents are going to watch it and you know that they are not that strong to be able to withstand the heat that is going to come from this football. Please don't allow your parents to watch this because we don't want to lose any other person again. So guys, thank you so much for watching and may their soul rest in perfect peace. Amen.